so hi everyone i'm joy and today we are going to see the carrier sense multiple access collision detection it is also known as csma cd so let's start now what is csma cd the csma cd technology was designed for early wired local area network specifically for bus topology networks nowadays the csma cd is not used because the most of networks are either star topology or point to point network but the csma cd is still supported if you are using the bus topology the csma cd does not use acknowledgement in order to confirm the transmission we have seen that in the pure eloha or the slotted eloha it totally depend on the acknowledgement the eloha method dependent on the acknowledgement but the csma cd does not rely on the acknowledgement okay so now let's see what are the steps for csma cd now these are the steps which should be followed by each device if the device wants to send some data these are the four steps let's see these steps one by one so the first step is to check if the sender is ready for transmitting data packets or not like if sender is having any data to send or not if the sender is having any data to send in the next step the sender will sense sender will sense whether the link is idle or not okay the sender will check whether the link is idle or not idle means any data transmission is happening in the link or not if the link is idle if no data transmission is happening in the link the sender will transmit the data and while transmitting the data the sender will continuously check for collision so in the third step the sender is doing two things the first one the sender is sending data at the same time the sender is also checking whether there is a collision in the link or not okay and during the third step if the data is transmitted and no collision is uh, sensed by the sender it means the communication was successful the data was sent successfully okay so you can see that these are the four steps which is followed by all the devices but still i know you are confused that how the sender knows that there is a collision okay so let's see that how sender finds that there is a collision in the network now you can see that there are four devices a b c and d are connected via a bus topology suppose device a has some data to send so like we just discussed that these four steps are followed by each and every device in the network so if a wants to send some data it will first sense the channel after sensing if a finds that the channel is idle a will send data to the receiver so you can see that a has sent data to device c now what happens if two devices are sending data at the same time suppose b and d wants to send some data to c now b and d wants to send some data to c so they will first sense the channel because they want to send data at the same time they will first sense the channel at the same time after sensing they both will find that the channel is idle so they will send data and after some time their data will be collided with each other and this thing is known as collision and when there is a collision in the network no device can able to receive proper data all the devices will receive is junk data still the question remains that how the station knows that there is a collision so let's see that suppose device a wants to send some data to c because they are following the csma cd method the device a will first sense the channel after sensing if a finds that the channel is idle a will send data to c now you can see that this data 
which is sent by A to C in the graph. Now you can see that the data when A sends data to C in the cable there will be just signal and signal is having different levels such as 0 and 5. 0 means 0 bit and 5 it means 1 bit. So A has sent this signal to C and C will receive the signal. Now let's consider the second situation in which B and D want to send data at the same time. So they will first sense the channel. After sensing they found that the channel is idle so they will send the data. Now the data which is sent by B and D in the link they will just become signals and that can be seen on the screen. So this is the data which is sent by B to C. This signal is the data which is sent by B to C and this signal is the data which is sent by D to C. Now this signal is traveling from left to right and this signal is traveling from right to left and after some time this signal will collide with each other and when the signal will collide the signal will become something like this. Now if you notice now the signal is changed drastically. Now when C receives from the 0 C can understand that it is 0 bit but from let's say 7 volt, 7 volt, 9 volt, 8.5 volt in that case C is not going to understand that whether it is 1 bit or 0 bit or something in between that. So when C receives signal which is having drastic change in the voltage level in that case it is going to understand that there is a collision in the network and when the sender B and D gets to know that the, there is a collision in the network they will stop sending the data and after some time they will try to send the data again. Okay. Now let's see the flow chart of the CSMA CD. K is number of attempts like how many times the sender can retransmit if sender is part of collision like if sender is sending data and sender detects that there is a collision so the sender will wait and after some time it will send again. So when it is sending again the value of the K will be incremented and the number of attempt K is limited for each and every device. No device can uh, attempt retransmission over and over again because if any device is doing retransmission over and over again so it will just create so much traffic in the link and it will increase the probability of the collision in the network. Now in the first step like we just saw before sending data the sender will sense the channel using any of persistent method. After sensing the, if the sender finds that the channel is idle the sender will send data. Now when the sender is sending data at the same time it will continuously check whether there is a collision or not. So like we just saw in the third step like we just saw in the third step the sender will send data at the same time it will check whether there is a collision or not okay so in the process of sending data if the sender finds that there is a collision the sender will stop sending data and it will attempt for the retransmission so right now the sender will send sender will transmit and receive it means it will sense until there is no collision detected if the collision is detected then the sender has to do retransmission. Suppose if collision is not detected, it means the transmission is successful. If the collision is detected, the sender will send the jamming signal. Now sender will send the jamming signal. Why it is sending the jamming signal? Jamming signal is used to tell every device on the network that there is a collision in the network and please wait for some time. Because sender finds that there is a collision, it is informing the remaining devices that please do not send data right now, please wait for some time and after that try to send data. So sender will send the jamming signal and it will try to do attempt one more time. So the value of the K will be incremented, it will become 1 from 0. K 
if k is greater than k max or not so maximum a time which is allowed for each device is 15 so if it is not greater than 15 in that case it will choose the random number between 0 to 2 raised to k minus 1 after that it will wait for some time that is equal to r into propagation delay or r into transmission of the frame and after some time it will send the frame again and this flowchart will keep going until the transmission is successful okay so this is it for this session if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much Thank you.